Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you a quick overview of pharmacy management system. So I have already started the project and here this is a login page. In this project, we have two module. One is administrator module and one is pharmacist module. So let's start with the administrator module. So first for the administrator module, my username and password is btech days and btech days. So I'm going to type that and I'm going to type this again and just click on sign in and here you can see this we move to the dashboard here you can see this we have a card three cards over here one is for admin user one is for farm assistant another is for customer so we have only these two modules you can add another modules over here and so here you can see this you have total number of admins user there you can see this this is two and total number of farmer users is one and total number of customers is zero because we don't have any details for customer and here you can see this this is a fancy button here you can see it means that whenever we add a new user into our database then we need to refresh or reload the data over here so this is a reload button when you click on this so data will be updated over here in these two boxes or labels you can see okay here you can see this in these two cards i have provided the details for what actually admin can do admin user admin user can add user view user profile management and other stuff an admin user can do the pharmacist can do it can actually add medicines it can view medicine it can update medicine it can sell medicine and it can also delete medicine okay so these tasks will be done by the pharmacist so next thing we have add user here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one user so here you can see this the pharmacist is we have one so I'm going to add one more so I'm going to add a pharmacist user and the name is something Rohan date of birth will be something let me just go to 1995 July something random email ID Rohan at the rate gmail.com username Rohan here you can see this when I type Rohan here you can see the green tick let me try the BTEC days when I type BTEC days it shows wrong because this BTEC days is already occupied this data is actually exist in our database I have logged in with this username that is BTEC days so this cannot be inserted okay so let me remove this you can see there's a cross sign so let me delete this let me try for Rohan and the password is also Rohan and click on sign up and when I click on this sign up successful and when I move back to dashboard here you can see this the total number of farmer users is still one and here we have the one button when I click on this here you can see this the number is updated to two it means that we have now two admin user and two farmer user when I click on reset every data is cleared after this we have view user when I click on this here you can see this we have only three data visible over here the new data which we have added that is row and row is not visible over here for that we have added a reload button over here click on this and new data is added now in the same way you can actually delete the user details as well here what you can do is here we have one username so you can search any user like i'm going to search for rohan and when you delete this all data is available over here so SDF, this is an administrator. I'm going to delete this one. I have added this one previously. So I'm going to delete this one. So select the row which you want to delete or select the user which you want to delete. Just select that, click on delete. Are you sure? I am going to just type yes. User record deleted, click on OK. And here you can see that this is updated automatically. When we move to dashboard, now we have only one admin user. And when I click on this, now data is one. So this one is working fine after this we have next module is profile when i click on this when i click on the any empty space over here you can see this all the data related to this user that is the btech days username is also visible over here that is the btech days and here we have the username and here you can see this we have all the data related to that username you can actually update the data like anything you want to update you cannot update actually the username you can update the role you can update the name you can update anything just click on this and the data will be updated so i'm going to update the password to be like this yes 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 like this update okay view profile and just click on this and here you can see this now the yes 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 is added over here and the administrator be like this okay so it means that this one is working fine so let me delete the spaces 
sorry the yes and this update and okay now finally we have the logout so click on this and we move to the login page over here next thing we have the pharmacist module so i'm going to log in so pharmacist username is kumar and the password is also kumar so just sign in and we move to the pharmacist dashboard here you can see this we have one chart over here one the red one the red box or bar is for actually expired medicine here you can see that this one is written over here and the valid medicine is blue one so it's showing the count of valid or expired or valid medicines here we have one reload button if you add new medicine which is valid then you have to just click on this to reload that data over here next thing what we have is now add medicine so click on this here you can see this we have for now we have four medicine that is valid so now I'm going to add one medicine so medicine ID will be anything medicine name will be XYZ medicine number one two three like this one or one 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 five times okay manufacturing date something like this and I'm going to add one valid medicine so for that this number 26 and quantity I'm going to purchase is 150 and one price is 250 rupees or like something 167 okay so unit price this one is one quantity price is 167 so I'm going to add this one so click on add medicine registered so move back to the dashboard and here you can see this we have only four for now when I click on reload here you can see this the bar is updated to five in the same way this one is working fine here you can observe the difference for now this one is five and the expired medicine is still two it means that we have five plus two is seven medicine in our database two is expired and five is valid here we have one more button that is reset when I click on this everything is cleared over here so next thing next module is view medicine when I click on this here you can see this the medicine which we have added that did the 51 the ID is 51 is not visible over here so when I click on this button now you can see this 5 XYZ medicine we have added over here and you can delete any medicine with the same way in which we have actually deleted the profile so just click on this delete and we can actually delete so I'm not going to delete that because we have already seen the chart over here okay so let me delete one actually so click on this select this delete yes the medicine record is deleted and now move back to dashboard reload and here you can see this the expired medicine is actually deleted that's why the bar is just gets shorter it's now move back to one and this one is working fine next thing we have modify medicine so here what we have to do is we have to actually search with the help of medicine ID so our medicine ID is triple sorry five times one so search for that and here you can see this the data is visible over here if I try to enter something wrong then no medicine with ID 1562 is exist it shows that with this ID no record exists and when I click on OK nothing happens you can click on this reset and to clear everything so I'm going to do five times one and search for this and here you can see this now we have the expiry medicine in December 20 so what I do is just change this one to August 2020 and when I update this and click on OK it means that this medicine expired now so move to dashboard reload and here you can see that this one is 4 now and this one the expired medicine is 2 it means that this one is working exactly as what we have expected so move to the modify medicine and search for the medicine again and here let me just make this one valid okay so now that medicine is valid after that what we have to do is here you can see there's a small box that is add quantity what is this is we have 150 medicine for 150 quantity available quantity in the database so what I want to do is I want to add 50 more or 15 more I'm going to add 15 for now so what I'm going to do is add 15 when I update this and click on OK it means that now the available quantity needs to be 165 so what I'm going to do is just reset this and search for 1111 and click on search and now you can see this available quantity is 165 so this one is working fine next thing what we have is medicine validity check here we have 
three stuff in this combo box so first is nothing but valid medicine when i select this it shows all the valid medicines here one 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 and one is now valid it's for its expiry date is for 2050 let's check expired medicine so we have two expired medicine no sorry exactly one we have only one so medicine validity check we have only one expired medicine so which me medicine is expired you can check details over here and next thing we have view all medicine when i select this all medicine is available over here so three three six is total number of the medicine which we have including valid and expired medicine here you can see there's a five plus one that is six so this one is working fine and next thing what we have is cell medicine this module is very important and one of the important module of this complete project so here we have to actually maintain so many stuff we have to check so many stuff over here so first thing you can't see the medicine xyz over here because we haven't loaded it yet so when i click on this now here you can see this xyz loaded here you can observe one search box over here so you can search the medicine over here so xyz you can search like this when you delete everything is visible over here next thing you can observe we have only five medicine over here but we have six medicine in the database so why only five is visible because one medicine is expired i have shown you one medicine is expired let me show you the expired one so one two three the id for that medicine is one two three this medicine is expired okay so what we have to do is we have to actually make this medicine the one which we have added xyz i'm going to make this one expired for now and then i'm going to check that that xyz is visible over here or not so move back to over here one 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 five times search for this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just going to make that one expired and update this and click on ok move to cell medicine click on this and here you can see this when i refresh or reload the xyz is now removed from this one the list so this one is working fine that we cannot sell the expired medicine according to our database so let me just reward that let me just make this one valid let me just refresh okay so i did some mistake right it's still expired now reload here you can see this now we have xyz i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this medicine when i click on this the data of it this one xyz is filled into the every box you cannot make any changes in this you cannot change your price per unit you cannot change the name you cannot change anything what do you have to do with this here you can see this nothing you can add over here so what you have to do is just add the units how many unit you want to purchase just add five then what it will do is it's going to actually calculate the unit price you can unit price into this one and total amount for this medicine is visible over here so as i have shown you that we have 165 stock 165 quantity in stock so what i want is when i add to cart then this five units needs to be removed from the database so what i'm going to do is for now let me just show you do medicine over here and just refresh for 111 the quantity is for now in the database 165 just show you that quantity is 165 here you can see this so now i'm going to add this one to cart when i click on this medicine added click on ok and now move back over here and here you can see this 165 for now when i reload this 160 it means that the five the five number quantity is now ready to be sold or it's been sold next time i'm going to do is I'm going to actually add ABC so just click on this and let's check the ABC quantity so view medicine ABC quantity is 8 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 or 2 for now just click on this now 2 is also added now move back over here and just click on this and here you can see this 2 is removed it means that it 2 is minus from the quantity and it turned to 6 
next thing what I'm going to do is I don't want actually I have added this ABC wrong I want to remove this it means that when I remove the quantity needs to be increased in the database so let's check if that happens or not and the total amount for these two medicine is visible over here 1335 here you can see this you can add these two numbers and the total amount will be visible over here so what I'm going to do is select one which you want to remove and click on remove and OK and now check the medicine if the stock is updated or not here you can see this this one is ABC 6 so reload and here you can see this and now this one is 8 it means that this one is working fine so what I'm going to do is and here the price is also decreased the total amount is also decreased if you try to click on this add to card without selecting any medicine let me just do that select medicine first okay so this one is also working fine next thing what we have is here you can observe that we have 8 quantity for now the total and I want to purchase 9 so select ABC and click on 9 and click on add to cart so what it shows is there's a warning medicine is out of stock only 8 left in our database or 8 left in our stock so it means that you cannot add this record cannot purchase 9 while we have only 8 in our stock so this will not work it will clear all the fields when you click on OK. So what we have to do is we have to just add 2 and click on add and the medicine is added. Now here you can see this. Finally we have print and purchase and print. So when I click on this, this start the printing the bill. So if your system is connected with some sort of printer or anything fax or whatever you have connected for the output. So you can just click on print and it's also going to generate a PDF for that you have to just name it whatever you want so I'm going to just name that so desktop and I'm going to name this one bill 103 and just save and when that bill is saved and printed all the details from this data grid view and from these text boxes is now removed so let me show you that file So what we have named that is bill 1 to 3. I'm going to open this and here you can see this we have the bill 111 XYZ the medicine is and we have purchased a 5 unit and second is ABC we have purchased 2 unit and the total price is visible over here in the below 1135 the total payable amount. So everything is working fine. So let me close this and move back to the project and here you can see this so everything is working fine and I'm going to explain you each of the stuff in very detail and I'm going to just provide you all the images link in the description of the video you have to just download that and start designing and coding with me and one more thing you can do if you want to purchase the source code you can purchase the source code just contact me on Instagram and most preferably just share, subscribe and hit like button. Thanks for watching.